Hey guys, it's Nesta. We're back in the Dubai Hills again, one of Dubai's most exclusive and gated communities where we're about to tour a home which has had so much thought and attention to detail behind its design. Recently completed by Vortex Holdings and nestled directly on the golf course, it combines the elegance of luxury with lifestyle and leisure. Now, without further ado, let's just begin the tour. start the tour at the front of the property you've got the driveway leading up to the automated garage and the exterior landscaping surrounding the front gate now i love how that green contrasts with the white facade of the home and from here we get to see a little bit more of those architectural lines with those terraces cantilevered but connected with that beam running across the front entrance and you see those silver screens above and you'll notice touches of travertine on the facade in those earthy tones which really gives that calming feeling you'll also see a olive tree nestled in there giving those zen vibes now talking about zen vibes we've got a water feature here nestled on top of the desert stones now i love the sound that it makes you even got lily pads inside the water feature itself and we're surrounded by these palm trees and all that landscaping such a great vibe when you come into this home also down the side of the property there's a walkway which you have an entrance into the home and even more of that landscaping on those desert stones now opposite us is the two-car garage which has an automated front door and is fully covered you'll also see an ev charger that is built into the system of the home now i want to show you little details that vortex has included in the fit out of this home so if you look at the storage here at the back they've kitted it out with all the tools that you need i mean these are little details which make this home feel like a home and it's sort of fully ready to move in now down the side here we've got a driver's room that's fully ensuite and the walkway which leads to the backyard we also have another driver's room here that's fully ensuite and access directly into the service kitchen now as we move to the front entrance you can see we have those travertine steps with that recessed lighting and you can't really see that recessed lighting so i want you guys to stay here till the end of the tour what we're going to do is we're going to have a one minute quick tour of this place at night so you can see how it lights up and how beautiful it is the front entrance is surrounded by glass all underneath this wooden pivot door. Now what I love is these wooden slats that they've included in the design to add a little bit more of those dimensions. You'll see those as we come into the lobby. Now as we do, those ceilings open up with that viewing balcony above. You've got the chandelier hanging down. Now, as soon as you come in, you get a sense of calm and that comes from the light tones that we have throughout the home with the travertine floors combined with the earthy theme throughout it feels like the outside has seamlessly transitioned into the inside now all those light tones again are broken up by little details like the wood lining this whole side wall here made in the slate design and those brass details in between now what i love as well is the artwork that they have dotted around the home it feels like it goes perfectly with it now on the opposite side is the floating staircase which i'll go into more detail as we head upstairs i want to take you through the great room now i call it the great room because you have all the spaces connected like the dining and kitchen area on one side with the living on the other now in the center there's the entertainment space so you've got a little seating here with a chess setup and the highlight feature which is the pool table now i know usually my tours i have a go but you can tell this is a brand new table just by looking at the white ball how there's no chalk marks on it 
and I don't want to ruin that experience for the first buyer of the home. So this home is a five bedroom, six bathroom home on a 13,423 square foot plot and it's currently on the market for around $20 million. Now, as you can see, we've been drawn into the living area. And that's because it has that cozy feel due to those warm, earthy tones. All the furniture in this home is Italian made, just like this L-shaped sofa here, which has been broken up by elements of wood. In the center is the travertine coffee table sitting on a handmade rug. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the automation system. So you've got a Lutron system that covers the whole home. So that does the blinds, the shears, all the lights. You can control that from your phone or even the commands on the walls. But like I've not seen before, you have these little like controllers dotted around in all the spaces where you can control all those devices. Now, this living area is all looking onto this huge TV setup on the wall here. And on the back wall, you have so much storage with the shelving in that brushed brass finish. Right behind me is the exit to the backyard where you have the floor to ceiling, glass sliding doors. Now they're Italian made so you can tell the quality of just how easily you can push them and they slide fully open so you can have the indoor and outdoor spaces interconnected. You've got seating either side and the pool in the center which isn't designed in that typical shape where it's horizontal at the back. It's vertical so you can feel the space of the backyard and it seems like it's floating. I mean, what a view from these sunbeds at the bottom of the pool. As we go around, you can see this is the walkway that leads to the front of the property, which has the side entrance into the home. Now, I love how much attention to detail they've given to even the outdoor shower where they have the stepping stones and these sculptures all on those desert stones and the rain head built into that travertine block. They've even put a lot of thought behind the landscaping. So three years ago, before, a year and a half before the project even started, the developer planted two hibiscus trees because he could see what he wanted it to look like. And of course, that gives you the extra privacy. At the back is a lounge bed with the floating travertine blocks next to that water feature. Now I wanna take you to the other side because it's probably my favorite part of the home. I mean, even just walking up here, the views onto it are incredible. And even though it's the entertainment space, it still feels as calming as it does on the inside. And that's due to like little details like the olive tree on those desert stones in front of the sunken lounge. With a fire pit, you know how much I love fire pits. You've got the bar chairs with the elevated travertine countertop where you can have a drink and even people from the inside of the pool can have a drink. You'll also notice the wooden floors. Well, they're not actually wooden floors. It's a material designed for outdoor spaces. But what's great is how it contrasts with those light tones. Now, the sunken lounge is right next to the jacuzzi. See how big it is. You could probably fit about 20 people in here with these sun lounges right next to it. Now, from here, because of that glass banister, we get to see uninterrupted views of the Dubai golf course. And from here is the point where we combine the elegance and luxury of this home with the lifestyle and leisure of the Dubai Hills. Like the community is amazing. You get a golf course in the center with the golf club. You can see how much is being developed with those mansions in the background. And right around the corner there, we can see it from here, is one of the mega mansions that we toured that was also on the golf course. Now, the reason why I say this is my favorite part of the home is because of this gym under this pergola, which also has those Italian-made sliding doors that fully open up. Now, now the gym is fully equipped with techno gym equipment and I love how you're looking onto that greenery. I mean, this is such a perfect spot to work out. And even with those wooden floors right next to it, it's the perfect yoga deck as well. Also, you'll see in here, you've got a TV built into that back wall and a bar at the back. You've got the high chairs in front of it and it's got a wine cooler with the sink built into that travertine countertop. And from here, I also wanted to show you, we have eight speakers outdoor and the interior has all the speakers built in. Now they're all connected by Lutron, which I told you is the smart home system. And the reason why they're one of the best on the market is because usually you have it all connected by Wi-Fi, but even if that goes down, you have hubs around the home which keep it functional. 
Now we're coming around here. We go by the dining area, which you can see from there. We're coming to the barbecue. So usually in the homes, they don't really utilize the side walkway, but the developer here has utilized it to the maximum. It's like its own little space. You've got the Beretti barbecue at the back with the pizza oven at the back. And I love how they've dressed it with those logs underneath that barbecue. And if you look, the sink has been built into that travertine countertop and right next to it, when I first toured the home, I actually thought this tissue dispenser was built into the countertop, but no, it's actually movable. Now, also I wanted to show you the length they went to with the attention to detail. Like if you look at the hose, I mean, you've got to have a hose because of all that landscaping, but they've even done it in those earthy tones, which matches the outdoor dining area. You can see the light green seat covers on the chairs. I mean, the materials are just incredible. Now the dining table is made of a polished travertine countertop and it seats eight all underneath this pergola here. You'll see again more speakers to the side connected by that Lutron system and right behind me even more landscaping with that water feature off to the side. Now you can see how well thought out the design of the home is, how the dining area is connected with the indoor dining area. We've got a same polished travertine table. This one seats 10 and it's a little bit wider above it you can hear the sound of that chandelier, how it makes those chingling, chingling noises, tingling noises, whatever you call it. But such a vibe in here. And on the back wall, they've made a bar, which got the cupboards and shelving in the center where you could mix your drinks. And either side, these are glass cabinets. Now you've got these features in here, like you can hold your bottles of wine with the shelves that pop out as well, and the glasses above. Now from here, you can see how open plan the great room is and how these spaces are interconnected. We go right to the kitchen here with the suede chairs at the front of this elevated travertine platform on the kitchen island which is surrounded in a brushed brass finish. I love how that contrasts with the light travertine floors. Now all the appliances are Miele, so you've got the induction cooktop on the island with that fan that sucks the air in the middle. You've got the dual fridge freezer combo here and the convection oven and coffee maker surrounding it are these glass cabinets and when you open them up they've got the same features like the bar did in the dining area where you can place your bottles of wines on the shelves the glasses above so many nooks and crannies now on the island you've got the sink built in and a cooker system so we've not actually shown you before how it works so like this this is filtered water this is normal unfiltered water with one long press and turn that is cold water and then with a short press and turn that should be sparkling water see that sparkling and finally with a double tap and turn you got hot water and i'm not going to put my finger underneath that right now such a cool feature now, if we go through this way here, this is the service kitchen. And by any other standards, this would be a dream kitchen in most homes. All the fixed appliances are Tekka, like the sink here is also Tekka. And if you look underneath, it's got its own filtration system made by Karsha. So Tekka and Karsha are both a German brand. You can see how many filters it has to go through. It's got a PP filter, a granular activated carbon filter, a block activated carbon filter. I mean, it goes through all of those and with the push of this tap, you get fully filtered water. Now the finishes in here are also super high quality. You can see the travertine countertops, the cupboards all around, like even these nooks and crannies here where you can store your spices. I love these kind of little features. You've got the Tekka gas hob here with five plates and the extraction fan above. Now opposite us is the oven and grill with the fridge and freezer either side of it. Now the pantry is Italian made, so it's got really cool features. So when you open the cupboards up, the drawers slide out. I love those kind of features. Now at the end of this corridor is the laundry room. And as you can see, we've come full circle. We're back by the driver's room next to the garage. And now that we've finished the tour of the ground floor, let's head back to the staircase and start exploring the bedrooms. What I had to do. So the first guest bedroom is actually downstairs. 
Down this corridor, if you remember at the beginning of the tour, I told you that there's a side entrance to the side of the property. So that is that entrance there. The first door is the powder room with a floating vanity. And you can see that travertine wrapping around the walls here. Also, you notice little details like the brass edges, which matches the bits between that wall in the lobby area. You can see that gold sink sitting atop of that countertop and the sanitary as well, all made by Jesse, like the entire home. Now also what I love is these little details like the lights that are fixed into the mirror. Now, further down the corridor is the first guest bedroom, which has wardrobes lining the entire entry hallway. You see as you open them up, that recessed lighting comes on and opposite us is the ensuite bathroom. So you've got a vanity mist set up again with that travertine wrapping around the entire thing. This time there's a ceramic sink set atop of that countertop. You'll see the rib design on the doors to the cupboards and I like these towel rails here in the back, how they're in black and contrast against that travertine. You'll see it's matching with the towel rack in the walk-in shower as well. And if you look above, there's a huge golden rain head. Now, the bedroom itself looks out onto that Zen garden at the front of the property. I love the vibes in here. We've got the bed set up here at the back with the bed sit in front. And if you look, like we had in the living room, you've got elements of wood breaking up those materials. At the back, there's a small vanity and the TV built into that wood clad wall. Now, as we go up the staircase, you can see that it's seemingly like floating with those travertine steps and the glass guardrail has that gold trim on it, keeping this whole space open. Also, if you look on this side, you've got a wooden hand banister, which is indented into the wall and with that recessed lighting is illuminated. At the top of the stairs, I want to show you another little detail which shows how well thought out the design of this home has been. So on top of the wall, which separates the two levels of the staircase, they've placed a travertine top with the indented sides here and that recessed lighting surrounding it, making it look like it's floating. And that matches the floors that we've seen throughout the whole home. These are little details which make this home feel like a home. Now on one side here, we've got the primary bedroom and upstairs lounge, but let's explore down this hallway first, the rest of the bedroom before we finish up there. Now, along the way, you'll see this storage here. You've got the shelving and the exterior has that brushed brass look, which sort of contrasts against those light tones, but keeps with that earthy design of the home. Now, as we look down this corridor, you can see that the entrances to the rooms are all surrounded by a wooden archway. Even this one is fit flush into the wall. And as we come into the bedroom, there's a transition from the travertine floors onto the wooden floors. And immediately there's a cabinet with a glass doors and that recessed lighting that comes on. And when we open the drawers up, the materials used for the line, they feel incredible. And you've got spaces for your watches, your belts, everything that you need. I love these little details. Now in the bedroom, you've got the TV built into the wood clad wall and you'll see these soft edges keeping with the warm tone of the home. Now opposite that is the bed and on the back wall, again, you've got these similar wood clad setup, but either side, you actually have storage here. And when you open it up, that recess lighting comes on. So this is a vanity setup right now, but if you wanted to, you could change that mirror into a picture put a desk here, some chairs at the front, and fit this as an office. So you, once you buy it, you can choose whatever you want to do with it. You also have access to a balcony, which we saw from the front of the property. And obviously it comes with an ensuite bathroom with the vanity wrapped in travity. That sink sat atop of that counter. And at the back, you can see the towel rails matching the shampoo, which is now sort of built into the back wall here with that rain head above. Now, as we head across the hall, we go into the next bedroom. Again, has those wooden floors throughout, but this time we have wardrobes lining the whole side wall. Again, those glass cabinets, these are imported from Italy, these wardrobes. You'll see the wood lining on the interior as well. Opposite us is the ensuite bathroom in a similar design. You've got the travertine wrapping the whole vanity, that sink sat atop, and the gold copper trim on that sanitary, and below the rib doors 
on the cupboards. Now I want to show you a little detail in here that we haven't shown you so far. So as you come into the walk-in shower, there's not a step, but this part here is just at a little slant. Even the whole walk-in is at a slant. So once you're showering with that huge rain head above, the water doesn't escape into the bathroom itself. As we head into the bedroom, there's a floating vanity on the entry, which is attached to the cupboards beneath the TV. Now you'll see on the edges here how it matches the rib design that we saw in the ensuite bathroom and the push to open cupboards. That goes with the theme of this whole back wall with the TV built into it. You'll see those lights as well. I love the elegant design of those. I mean, this whole home, I pretty much love the design. They've really thought it out when, they've, when they were building it. Like you'll see the travertine block here at the back. It has that sculpture on the side. On the side of the bed, there's the hanging lights with the tables either side and even this painting at the back. I mean, this room is such a vibe, especially with that view in the back. You're looking directly onto the golf course through that balcony, which we're gonna to get to once we tour the adjacent room that's actually mirrored to this one. Now, further down the hallway is the final two rooms. So this is the maid's room. Now this has got the bed set up at the back. Even the walls are wood clad, so they've really thought out the design even in there, and it's fully en suite. At the back of the corridor, you've got a small little wet kitchen with a brushed brass finish on the cupboards again. You've got the travertine countertop and that tissue dispenser, which like and the barbecue I thought was built into the actual countertop. And of course, another cooker system up here. Now let me walk you through the final bedroom up here, which is identically mirrored to the other one. I'll take you out to the balcony, which has in fact been extended from its original shell and core. So firstly, that creates a bit more shade for the seating that we have underneath us outside the living area and obviously creates a lot more space up here, stretching all the way down. Now from here, you get even more incredible views onto that golf course, but you're looking down onto the creation that is your pool. I mean, this is such a vibe up here. I can imagine having a little espresso, chilling out in the morning. We go by the adjacent bedroom, which is mirrored to the final one over there and come to the outdoor upstairs seating area, which is connected again by these sliding doors to the indoor seating area. So you can have that in and out flow. We've got some shelving here on the side nestled on the floating travertine element, which stretches across the whole back wall here and the 85 inch TV built into it. Now the Cipriani seating, that's right, Cipriani seating is all looking on that with that coffee table right in front of it. And I love little details like this, like on the side here, you've got a marble element where you can place your drinks while you're watching TV. So the primary bedroom stretches across the whole side wing of this home. On one side, you have the bedroom and on the other is what used to be a bedroom, but they've turned it into a full walk-in closet. You've got the island in the center with so much storage all around. As you open these doors up, that recessed lighting turns on and they're soft closed, which I didn't show you throughout the tour. Now the island, like the drawers that we saw in the other bedroom, the lining inside, the materials feel so soft and it's fully kitted out to sort of store watches, your bags. Behind you is an exit onto a terrace looking onto the front of the property. And on the way here, we've got a vanity set up. So this is actually interactive. So if you press this button here, it gives you a glamour light and it also connects to your phone with built-in speakers behind the mirror. As we head down the corridor, you'll see little details like as I open this up, this is shoe shelving and on the opposite is actually a safe room with a safe in one of the cupboards that I'm not gonna actually show you. As we head down the corridor, more storage to this side, we have the master ensuite bathroom. As we come in, we've got the bathtub in the center with the Jesse standing faucet, which matches the towel rack here at the back. Now that's actually heated to dry your towels quicker, obviously. Opposite me is the jewel of vanity here, sat atop of that travertine countertop. Got the mirror here, making this space feel double in size and that storage underneath with the rib design on the doors. Now, either side of the bathtub, you have entryways. One of them is into the walk-in closet. Now, what I love is the brass detail around that archway, which matches these details on the wall itself. The rain head is actually fit flush with the ceiling and the shampooing stretches across the whole back wall. On the other side is the water closet. But let's venture further down the corridor. We've got some more storage on one side and our final closet of the primary bedroom. Now we're finally in here. You can feel how open this space is. This is probably the largest bedroom. As soon as you come in, you've got a vanity on the side that's floating and attached to the element underneath the 77 inch TV 
built into the wall. Now what I love is little features like this. When you open this thing up, you have extra plug sockets, USB ports, ethernet port, and even a HDMI, so you don't have to have cables flying around when you connect to something. Opposite us is the bed setup with the bed sit at the front. I love the design here, how it's here, the wood clad wall and that screen, which is on parts of it, seems like it's floating because of that recessed lighting. And the best part about this is the balcony. And as the sun is setting right now, the grass is golden and it's such beautiful colors. You can hear the birds singing in the background. Now that's the end of our tour of the upstairs. What we're gonna do now is gonna wait for the night time to fall and we're gonna do a quick night tour of the ground floor and the outdoors just so you can see how it lights up. entrance you're still getting those zen vibes from that water feature as we come up you can see that recessed lighting underneath those travertine steps and as soon as we come in you can see how it's illuminated and even with those warm earthy tones it feels just a little bit cooler we've got the pool table as the highlight feature of the downstairs with the show kitchen and dining area behind me now opposite us is the living area it still feels so warm and cozy now with these sliding doors fully open, you get to experience the true in and out flow with this pool right in front of us with the lights on, feels so inviting. And sitting in those sun lounges, you have a direct view onto the Burj Khalifa in the background. You can see the light show is happening right now. If we head towards this way, towards my favorite part of the backyard, we'll see the outdoor gym on the way and even the barbecue area, how it's so well lit up with that dining room connected, you can even host things at night. And at the back here is the chill out spot. So we've got the jacuzzi on one side and my favorite part is obviously the fire pit. Now, unfortunately that brings us to the end of our tour guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed touring it for you. Of course, a massive thank you to Vortex Holding for allowing us to showcase this incredible home that they've created. For us, we've got the wine ready. We're gonna pour ourselves a glass once we've finished. Now, if you enjoyed this tour, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll be seeing you guys in the next tour.